Today I'm going to show you how I used the Fly Lady system to clean my kitchen. In the Fly Lady system, in the second week of the month, we focus on zone 2, which is the kitchen. So I took the opportunity to not just deep clean my kitchen, but also to bring about a much needed makeover. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this kind of content, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. This was how our kitchen was looking before. We've been here for about 10 years, so the kitchen counters were quite worn out. On the paintings, on the wall, okay, I didn't like them. Ignore my backyard, <laughs> deal with that one day soon. So this is how it was looking. This was the day we were painting the house. So yeah, you can see the painters there in the backyard, in the background. We had already moved the cooker and everything in preparation for painting the kitchen and so this was once we had already finished painting so now I'm doing a deep clean of the kitchen I had to do it in the evening after work so yeah you'll see that it's dark after 8 30 p.m. once we had put the kids to bed so the fly lady routines are great because they just specified one zone of the house to clean per week so this day I decided to just dedicate one evening to do a deep clean of my kitchen it was the second week of the month and since I have a full-time job sometimes I just have to sacrifice and just do a deep clean once the kids have slept but it's nice because cleaning a small part of the house every week keeps the whole house looking nice and I only did it like one day a week. So the rest of the week, we just we just maintain what we've already done. I have a living help, so I've already taught her a few things to do here and there. So she helps me to maintain the cleanliness, but I do the deep cleaning most of the time. I started with the windows. Our kitchen window has not had a curtain for the longest. And it didn't really bother me because I mean, there's no one else who walks back there but I decided it was time to get one so before I put up the new curtain I had to clean the window and the window cleaner that I am using I made it so I'll make a video one day soon on how to make your own window cleaner it's so easy and it really cleans well gone are the days used to clean windows using newspapers and water so this is so easy then now I was removing this area of my kitchen gets so much stuff dumped on it there so I like to remove everything and wipe it down every so often because it gets really dusty and you tend to just dump things there when you don't have a place to put them. At this point, my help had already washed the dishes and she had gone to rest. So, but I needed to put them away because I really don't like leaving dishes on the kitchen counter. It's one thing I learned from the fly lady is to not just wash dishes but also to put them away it keeps the kitchen looking very nice and neat when there's not dishes all over everything should have its place so i like to have my kitchen my dishes put away and my kitchen counters looking just empty Yes, yeah, so I was just putting them away and wiping the counter. I like the new countertops that we got. Yeah, so I like the new kitchen counters. We went and got them in the Comba when we had the guys come and fix them for us. Very, very easy and simple. 
I also made this kitchen spray that we used to spray down our countertops. It works so well. And as I said in my living room cleaning video, the fly lady really encourages cleaning every so often. So you might not even see what I'm wiping, but there were small spots there. And so the more often you clean, the easier it is to maintain the cleanness. So when I'm doing a deep clean, I make sure I wipe down all the cabinets, any small splashes that might have been there, so that we don't wait for it to become so dirty. And then we have to do a major cleaning. And the good thing I like about the kitchen spray is that all I have to do is to spray and wipe. It really just removes everything. And then it has uh, vinegar, which is so great. By the way, I just it was just one of those things I discovered by accident that insects hate the smell of vinegar. So if you're struggling with cockroaches and ants and other types of insects in your kitchen, I'll show you how to make this kitchen spray because I made it and I used to, I was, honestly, I was struggling with cockroaches in my kitchen despite the fact that it was clean i never knew where they used to come from but when i started doing in the in the flanage routine we call it the shining my sink so every night after we wash dishes we just spray this then we wipe down the kitchen so once i started using the flanage routines and using this kitchen spray after two or three weeks i noticed i can't see any cockroaches and i had tried everything i had literally tried everything only to come and realize that cockroaches can't stand the smell of vinegar so i can't wait to show you guys how to make your own kitchen spray it works wonders and the kitchen smells great one thing i also learned from the fly lady is how to shine your sink so this is what i was doing on this day i do it uh, at least once a month or once every two months so this is why i just pour vim on the sink and i use a scoring pad and I just really scrub my kitchen sink until it's super shiny. There's nothing I like more than coming into the kitchen in the morning and finding my nice gleaming kitchen sink. Oh, I love that. It really just helps the day start well. So I make sure every so often I do a deep clean of my kitchen sink. I'll make a video on how to do a proper shiny sink routine. I, my kitchen right now doesn't have a stopper so I was not able to do the full shine your sink routine like that fly, fly lady shows but as soon as I get one I'll show you but this also works just take a few minutes and just really really scrub your sink and then you dry it I don't like watermarks on my kitchen sink so every night I've even taught our help every night when you finish washing the dishes dry put away the dishes and then dry the sink completely let it just be left looking dry with no dirty dishes just looking fantastic and what we normally do is before we change our hand towel that nice because we change our hand towels every night in the kitchen and our kitchen towels we use them to just dry the final drops of water on the kitchen sink and then i use my spray so that's what i was doing at this we had finished using the hand towel for the day so i was just using it to dry my sink using the kitchen spray after all this after all the scrubbing and then i'm going to put away the hand towels the hand towel and get a fresh one for the morning so by the time we are going to bed we have a clean dish towel and a clean hand towel and i'll put a link on where to get hand towels look at that how shiny is that i love it i love a shiny sink and then after that i came to put away the dishes that i help had already cleaned before i discovered the fly lady routine we just used to wash dishes and just leave them there but then I realize when you dry them and put them away the kitchen looks so nice because there's not clutter I, I have really come to appreciate not having a cluttered kitchen it looks so clean if you do nothing else for your kitchen just declutter it will look so nice so then I was just praying and cleaning everything again our help had already done the usual clean but i did a i just spray and wipe everything now i 
I decided to use a toothpick. I use it once in a while to remove. You know those small grooves? I don't know whether you have on your cooker, but I have some small spaces there where the cloth just doesn't go into. And then we use a kiondo to cover our gas cylinder because our kitchen is old, so they, don't, they didn't make room for a gas cylinder. And I don't like leaving it exposed because of kids. So we normally use a kiondo, but it gets dirty once in a while. So this day I removed it because it needed to be washed. So then I yeah, needed to replace it for a temp with a temporary one. Then I went down all our appliances. I only leave the appliances that we use every day on the counter. I don't leave blenders, toasters. I prefer to put them away. I put them away in the pantry. So the only appliances I have it on my kitchen counters will be the microwave and the kettle because those ones we use every day. So that's just a great way to keep your kitchen looking nice and neat. Just remove stuff from the counter. Just remove all the clutter and put it away. It really, really works wonders. As Fly Lady keeps saying, you can't organize clutter. So the first and foremost thing to do before you, if you want to have a clean and organized home, is to get rid of clutter everywhere. In fact, I'm planning to do a decluttering of my kitchen because I feel like there's still too much. Too many cups, we don't use too many plates and we can always bless someone else with them. So I'll, I'll make a video soon about that. So on my fridge, I have our meal plan and I also have the day's order of events for my help to keep referring and the timelines like the kids wake up at 7 they have breakfast at 7 30 and all that because i actually have a new help so she's about two months old but i always have it even if the help is or has stayed with me for a while just to keep just for her reference and then i also scrubbed my kitchen floor i use vim and also you know i put our liquid detergent that we made on this channel if you haven't watched that video please go ahead and watch it i just put it in my water plus of course some essential oil to make the place smell nice this is what i was using to scrub the kitchen floor my help mops the house every morning but this is where now i get to do the deep clean so and whatever else I don't manage to do in my kitchen, because on this day I really wanted to line my cabinets and to clean them, but I didn't manage to. But I don't go back to the kitchen until next month, the second week of next month. That's when I will do the inside of the cabinet. So that's what I love about the fly ladies, that she gives you permission to stop. When the week is over, you move on to another zone, and that's okay. So next month i'll focus on the inside of the cabinets i'll do some decluttering i'll arrange them and i'll clean them i'll make a video about that as well just to show you so if my lady will clean every zone little by little until the house is just looking nice my mom got me these curtains oh i love it it's so pretty my mom is so amazing i love her she's the world's greatest mom ever and then now I was putting up some decor. As I said in our living room makeover video, we love paintings in this house. We love art. And so uh, I got some for our kitchen. Again, I'll put links on where to get them in the description below. So I, get, I got most of our art and the wooden pieces from my hermetic furniture. Really great stuff. I also got a nice tray to put our flasks on. So I'll show you. You'll see it just now on the, on the kitchen counter. It's a really nice wooden tray. I don't know, that's where I'm arranging the flasks now. I don't know whether you can see it. It's a nice wooden tray made of teak wood beautiful oh i got the succulents from an online shop called beauty for ashes 
the succulents are the only live plants i have in this house because you know there's some people have a green thumb i have a black thumb i just kill every plant that i bring into my house but i realized succulents are really hardy so i got two and i love the way they are put in mugs so they really suit the color i mean and the, the theme of my kitchen so I'm going to put their contacts in the description below. If you can't keep plants alive like me, then succulents are your go-to plants. The rest of the flowers in my house, by the way, are plastic flowers. But I got some succulents because they're really nice. They look so pretty. They look so amazing in those cups. Just wait till you see them. I was trying to put up my paintings here, but the hooks kept falling off they kept falling off i don't know what to do about that yeah so can you see my beautiful succulents i'm so proud of them and now you only need to water them once a week I mean, even near my black farm, I'm sure I can keep those two alive. I'm really excited. Please check out Beauty for Ashes. As I said, I'll put their contacts below. You will love their succulents. Yep, so I'm just... Oh, can you see that? The sugar dish shaped like an acorn. It's beautiful. Also from Wahometic Furniture. I love it. Then I decided to get a new kyondo to put on our cylinder as I wait for our white one to get washed. Still struggling with these hooks. It was such a struggle. Yeah, there we go. Yay, I made it. We like to keep our remote in the kitchen by the way, don't wonder why it's there because we've had enough instances of remotes getting broken by the kids so we just switch on the TV for them and then we leave the remote in there, in the kitchen. So this is the final product and this is how our kitchen now looks. It was really good. Love the paintings despite the fact that the hooks didn't work look at my new succulents yay i'm so happy to have those two and look at the mug so beautiful can you see the tray from our hometic furniture right there where the flasks are i love that also and voila yeah so thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll put the links of everything i mentioned in the description below if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I will see you on the next one. Bye!